Hello, my name is Alexandra Miller. I work on the product definition team for Dassault System SolidWorks, and today I will be walking you through a new command available in SolidWorks 2020. This new command is called Body Compare. Body Compare is a part of mesh modeling and allows you to compare two bodies within a part or an assembly file. Body Compare allows you to run a comparison on co-located bodies to determine where the bodies differ. This can be especially helpful on reverse engineering projects such as this guitar neck. This was created by 3D scanning a guitar neck blank and using SolidWorks' mesh modeling tools to create the guitar neck and model it to the desired shape. Here we can see the guitar neck co-located with the original scan. Now we can run the comparison to easily see where they differ. This command supports all body types such as mesh, mesh B-Rep, and classic B-Rep. To get to body compare, go to view, then display, and then body compare. For this example, I am using a classic B-Rep body and a graphics body. The graphics body was created by 3D scanning a lotion bottle, and the classic B-Rep body was created by reverse engineering the graphic body using SolidWorks' wide suite of mesh model reverse engineering tools. On the property manager, the first box is the source bodies box. As I hover over it, we can see that there's a dynamic help window that explains that all body types are supported here, and you can select multiple source bodies. If your bodies are well matched, it can be difficult to select the correct one by simply clicking. I'm going to simplify this by using the Select Other tool. In this case, the graphics body is our source body. This box is for the body or bodies that you will be comparing to the source. In my case, I have two bodies that go in this box because I created the bottle and pump as two separate bodies to more accurately represent the physical lotion bottle. As soon as we have chosen our compare and source bodies, the body compare feature populates the compare bodies with a gradient to show us the matched and unmatched areas. These four icons are four different display options for your source bodies. Current view, hidden display, transparent display, and wireframe display. For this example, I prefer the transparent display to best see the comparison. Some display options will be more or less helpful depending on the types of bodies you're using and how well they're matched. You can adjust your color settings to detect larger or smaller deviations. As I move my slider all the way to the right, the entire part displays as bright green or completely matched based on this range. Move the slider to the left and smaller deviations become apparent. The light and deep blue areas of the gradient represent a positive deviation. This means that the compare body extends away from the source body. While the yellow and red show a negative deviation, the compare body extends inward from the source body. If the parts are determined to be completely unmatched at any point by the legend you have chosen, that area will be populated with whichever color you choose here. I recommend choosing a color that is not similar to the rest of the legend. You can see that this ridge around the neck of my pump is completely unmatched in comparison to my source body. You can also disable the unmatched color and that area will be populated with the closest legend color available. Once all your parameters are set, click OK. The comparison is displayed with your compare body legend. You can move and rotate the model to examine areas of interest. Body Compare is built with persistent display. This means that I can edit my model and the comparison will still show and recalculate. Now I have a tool that allows me to hone in on areas that need some work as I continue to design. I can see here that the underside of my pump is not well matched to the source body. So I'm going to edit my loft sketches to see if I can improve that. Now we can see that this area is getting a little bit closer to matched. Body Compare is also available in assemblies and is intended to be used on co-located bodies. If I had created my source and comparison bodies in separate files, I could make them so that they are co-located within an assembly and then run my comparison. Thanks for tuning into this video. That covers the basic functionalities of Body Compare.